Previously on The Bill. I had a sister and she died. Oh, uh, the honeymoon was great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Cause soon you got your mates to bash me up before you left. I hope it's a bit more than a bacon sandwich. We're talking two across by Campbellite. good sign, is it? Listen, I might not be John Travolta on the dance floor, but she never complains about me elsewhere, if you see what I mean. That's not really an image I've wanted, thank you, Matthew. Oh, I bet it isn't. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. What'd you do that for? Hey, it was an accident. Well, why are you smiling, then? We get so arsy for us. I had a bit of spilt beer. You've got to take that smile off your face, or shall I? Hey, look at you. Well, you don't get it, do you? Oh, I see. Where is she? Who are you trying to impress? The blonde slapper or the stupid bitch on the left? Hey, man. What? You had a guy at me for being leery. Now look at her. I'm fine. Come on, got a bit out of your depth there. You needed your mates to help you out. What's you do one, eh? All right, all right, all right. You want some too, eh? Look, it's not worth it. I could have done without that. I think we should just call it a night. Yeah, I'm done. Come on, we've got time for another drink, have we? Do try and sober up before court later. We're relying on you. Matt, see you in a few hours. It's the early breakfast show, it's just gone half past five. <sighs> Glad I'm on nights. Yesterday's shift didn't sound much like fun. Must have been a nightmare. Not the brightest place to stab someone though, really, in custody. So why do you volunteer for nights? Just needed the extra money. Thought I'd work a rest day. Sierra one from Sierra Oscar. Just eight on premises at 11 Greenwood Way. you are. I'm sorry. Tony! It's okay. I'm not going to be any trouble. Scannell. Nothing. Is this place yours? No. Then it's not nothing. Uh, it's a friend's place. Uh, he's away. You see, I come round every now and then to check on it. I found it like this. You check on it at 5.30 in the morning? I get up early. What were you doing with the DVD player? Uh, borrowing it. You find your mate's place has been broken into and that's what you do. What's your name? Rafi Nadir, you going to arrest me? What do you think? Oh, it's not gonna get some to eat. I could do a drink. No man, we've got to be at work in a few hours. Listen, I'm gonna get a donna. No, I'll wait here, mate. Oh. 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 We'll run a check on it. Yes, it's mine. Borrowing quite a lot of stuff from you, mate, by the looks of it. Uh, did you say you were from uh, Sunhill Police Station? Yeah. Why? My son works there. Your son? Uh, Zain Nadir. He's a detective. <sighs> Do you have to go in today? Mm. Can't you take the day off. I'll be back by six. Robert, you've never thrown a sickie in your life, have you? <gasps> I knew it. <sighs> Can't you let someone else fight the baddies for you today? Go out later. Somewhere nice for dinner. But I do have to go.
I'll keep it warm for you. Just calm down! You'll get away with this! What's going on? Oh. He was hassling some girl and he, he tried to assault me, so I've arrested him. He came out of nowhere. When you both kicking off earlier? This weren't my fault. You see anything? Uh, no, 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 not really, no. Right, don't move. Just stay there. We'll need to talk to you later. Come here. We're going to have to take him back to Sun Hill. Oh, it was an accident. He fell. No, don't worry. Hello? Yeah, look, it's Dan Casper, Sun Hill. Look, I need some backup to the Halo nightclub just off Harville Road. This last clue is really irritating me. Coffee? Please, black. No sugar. Who'd have thought a cryptic crossword would lead to this? I'm going to do Sudoku from now on. Oh, look at the time. I'm going to be so late. And so are you. You're the inspector, aren't you allowed to be late? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Look, no, I'll get out of your way. No, what about your coffee? Don't worry. I'll grab one on the way. You're not going to have to say about it, eh? Tony. Oh, great. One of your mates. What's going on? I, I was arresting him. He's lying. He's had it in for me all night. He attacked me. OK, mate. You'll get your chance, all right? He was having a row with this girl. He started to turn nasty, so I stepped in. You what? He's drunk. Look at him. I told him I was a police officer. I pulled my warrant card out and he went for me. So I arrested him. I started to restrain him. Restrain me? Look. You see any of this? No. Just get in the kebab, come back, and he's on the floor. Did you see what happened? No, like I said to him, I didn't see much. It all happened by the time I got outside the club. Are you two mates? No. Do you mind if I take details? So where's this girl you're talking about? Oh, I don't know. She must have legged it. He threatened me earlier inside, didn't he? You heard. He was waiting for me, I swear. She was here. She needed help. So where's she now? You're done for. You're in trouble, mate. Right, I've done the briefing, but I held them back because I knew you wanted to say a few words. Sorry, bad traffic. Not one too many in the Seven Bells, then, like the rest of them. I do have a life of my own, you know. I'm not always socialising with those reprobates. Oh. Well, whatever it was, it looked like it was a good night. Anyway, have you heard about Will? Mm, another lovely day in paradise. Well, Leon Davis has decided to make a formal complaint. Oh, not being promising, then? No. The state Will was in. He just dialed 999 rather than put himself on duty. Right. Have you called the DPS? Yep. Yeah, they'll be here in a couple of hours. I don't know why they don't open an office here. Second time in two days. Here we go. Oh, dear. Nobody lights a match. There's enough alcohol in here to block the whole station. <laughs> Good night, was it? <laughs> De-stressed, are we? <laughs> well, you've all learnt your hangovers. Bit of a day yesterday, wasn't it? Power failure, stabbing in custody. What more could a relief ask for? Mm. And I want to welcome our Roger back to the team. Sure you'll agree with me? He's been terribly missed. Oh, thank you, Mum. Can I just say to those of you who are in any doubt, I'm no longer a certified nutter, so no special treatment required. <laughs> Look at the state of them. Get coffees, get painkillers, and get to work. Go on. Oh, hi. You look well. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a bit paranoid that everybody would be giving me a wide berth. So? You had post-traumatic stress disorder. It's old news. I'm glad you're back. Thank you. I hear you've got a suspect for a burglary for me. Yeah, it's more interesting than you might think. The suspect is DC Nadir's dad. Anyway, I'm off. See you later. You done your statement? Yeah. How are you doing? Well, I've had a complaint made against me by a guy with a cut face and a sprained wrist. My head feels like it's caving in, but apart from that... Well, the DPS must love you. That's twice in a month. Yeah, thanks for that, Roger. Sergeant Ackman's put us onto it. What happened? Well, I, I was sat outside the club waiting for Dan when I heard this shouting. I looked up and it was Leon really laying into this girl. She looked really shaken up. He started pushing her and that's when I stepped in. When you say stepped in? Well, I just told him he needed to calm himself down. And then? Then he started getting arsy and he squared up to me. So I told him I was a police officer. I got my warrant card out. 
And then he started pushing me around. And that's when you arrested him? Yeah, I arrested him for assault with intent to resist arrest. I tried to get him in a restraint hold, but he struggled and he fell on the floor and hit his head. Did the girl witness all this? Yeah, it seemed like it could have been a domestic. It might have been his bird. Well, don't worry. We'll find her. Was there any CCTV? Yeah, but it was a blind spot. We'll speak to Leon Davis. We'll find out who the girl is. I thought I was doing the right thing, helping her out. You're a police officer. You were doing your duty. Don't stop beating yourself up about it. If the DPS find me guilty, well, they could give me a criminal charge of ABH. Oh, I could lose my job over this. What's up with you? Oh, you know, the usual. Women. Sorry, sorry, mate. You've got problems of your own. Don't worry about it. How's the... Oh, come on. I've had worse. Listen, I can't blame David. I'd have done the same thing. I was in his position. Yeah, listen. She was your wife first. <laughs> so what's happening? Well, he's left her. Helen and I try to make a go of it together. She's moving back in with the kids. Oh, that's a big step. Mm. All I can say is uh, good luck, mate. Thanks. See, I thought I cracked it. I understood the mystery that is woman. And I've been dumped. I'm sorry. Yeah, I really thought she was going to be the one. Sarge? Now listen, I hear Will got in a bit of strife last night. Is it Matt again? No, no, it's just some guy in a club who made a complaint against him. The DPS are on their way to sort it out. Have you seen Zane? <sighs> Zane? Yeah? Your dad's been arrested for burglary. Zane, wait up. So did I hear right? Your, your man's been hit for burglary. Yeah, it's obviously some mistake, but I need to get down there. You let me deal with you. No, Phil, you don't know my dad. Which is why it might be better if I find out what's happening before you go in there without thinking. Look, you remember what happened to my sister, Jess? Yeah, the overdose, right? Since she died, things have been a bit strained between me and my dad. You know, we don't really speak. I thought if I could, if I could help him out. All right, listen, if you need anything, you call me, yeah? Yeah, thanks, man. What's going on? Dad? I'm sorry to embarrass you at work. I'm not embarrassed, I'm angry. I want to know why they've arrested you. Didn't they tell you? And they said that you were caught mid-burglary. That you trashed the place. I want to know what really happened. That's exactly what happened. I got caught. End of story. And, but this is crazy. Wh whose house? Why? Let your colleagues deal with this, huh? I'm quite prepared to take the responsibility for my own actions. You wouldn't do this, Dad. I know you. I did. But you're a civil engineer. You've got everything that you could possibly need. You've got at least two DVD players at home. Why would you nick another one? It doesn't make any sense. Don't make this any worse than it already is. Leave it alone. It's not me that should be here. It's your mate, PC Fletcher. He arrested you. Assaulted me, more like. Yeah, as we told you, the DPS will interview you regarding that. You'll get heard. Meantime, he's still under caution for the assault you were nicked for. I'm the victim. He's been telling everyone. He told me he was a cop. He never... He came at me from nowhere. Can your girlfriend verify this? Girlfriend? Well, she was there. <laughs> yeah, she'll tell you. What's her name? Mandy. Mandy. Mandy Francis. And where does Mandy live? With me. Well, let's have a little chat with her, shall we? Yeah. Well, Leon and me was having a bit of a barney, nothing serious or nothing. And suddenly this bloke butted in and got all aggro. And then? Well, what did Leon tell you? We want to hear from you. Well, Leon didn't do nothing. It was the other guy. What did he do? He went for Leon. I mean, he was out of control. Leon's shouting at him to get off, and suddenly, Leon's on the ground, head pouring with blood. You're saying PC Fletcher punched him? Well, I don't know exactly, but there was no stopping him. Who initiated the fight? What? Who started it? The copper. Why didn't you stick around to help Leon? I went to get help. And Leon was in a right state, and I wasn't sure whether the copper was going to keep attacking him or not. I was scared. But you didn't come back. Well, I saw them cops hanging around and I didn't want to get no grief. How would you get any grief? With you lot, there's always grief. Thank you. 
think a bit of background might be helpful. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, I found out whose house it was. It belongs to a Ben Panton. Apparently he's on a tour collar down Greece. Okay, uh, could you contact him, find out who he is, how he knows my dad? You wouldn't just trash his place for no reason. What's your dad saying? Nothing. He's holding his hands up to the whole thing with no explanation. It's really weird. I mean, he's about the most law abiding guy you can get, so he's either being lent on or he's got a personal problem with this Ben Panton. Are you okay to stay on this? Yeah, of course. Thanks a lot. I might better go and speak to my mum. Should be fun. Good luck. Oh, not good news, then. Leon's girlfriend, Mandy Francis, is corroborating his version of events. She says that Will threw the first punch. And you don't believe her? No. No. We've done a background check on her, and she's not the most reliable of witnesses. She's been in here more than a few times, just got out of prison for drug dealing. Well, wherever she's been, it's now two people's word against one. Well, we think Mandy might have fled the scene because she had drugs on her. And? We're going to check the CCTV from the club, see if there's any footage of her dealing. Use it as some sort of leverage to get her to tell us what really happened. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to bail, Neil. I'm sorry I can't keep him here any longer. Go on. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Mom. The DPS will be here in half an hour. I have looked at the FME's report on you. And? There are no signs of any injuries which doesn't go in your favour. And he has deemed you unfit for work, as there are signs that you're still under the influence of alcohol. Yet me and half the team. Did you show Leon your warrant card before the accident happened? Yeah, straight away. Good. Then you're covered. It means you're entitled to a Federation solicitor. A solicitor? Do me a favour, you tell me people actually believe this idiot over me? Tea? How is he? Listen, gloves are mate and everything. But I wouldn't have got involved, not in a state we were in. He was tanked up. He shouldn't have steamed in on or off duty. You can't pick and choose when you're a copper. He was pretty punchy in the club. Maybe the alcohol got a better thing. What's the latest? We've just been talking to Leon's girlfriend, Mandy. And? She's backing up Leon's version of events. Well, she's lying. Look, I'm telling you, he came at me first. You've got to get her to tell the truth. Yeah, we will. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to ring you all morning. Matt, don't. Well, I'm sorry. I look like a right idiot, not being able to explain why he didn't show up in court. He's got a really good excuse. What? A good excuse to let a drug dealer walk? Will was the only witness to the defendant dropping the wraps, and with no explanation for his absence, the case was dismissed. Thanks a lot. Listen, somebody's taken out a complaint against him. Oh? Why? What have you done now? Matt! Look, I have to go for about half an hour. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll get a CCTV from the car. What are you doing? Why are you losing it like that? It was a missed opportunity to put a dealer away. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. Where are you off to? Oh, well, you remember the club last night and afterwards? Yeah. I have to get the morning after pill, don't I? Do you? Yeah, of course I do. Oh, I mean, we're married now, aren't we? Wouldn't be such a disaster, would it? I'm 23 years old. I've been married five minutes. And I'm still a probationer, so yes, he would. Mum, he was caught red-handed. He's admitting to it. He's what? How? I mean, when did this happen? Well, didn't you hear him get up? It would have been about uh, half past five this morning. He slept in the spare room. He said he was getting up early for a meeting and he didn't want to disturb me. Why would he do anything like this? I don't know. Look, the guy that lived at the house is called Ben Panton. But you know him. Oh. Mum? Zoe's ex. Who's Zoe? She works for your father. She's an office runner. Well, more like a PA to him now. And she lives at that address? No. They split up four months ago. It was a bit messy. You know her too? Well, I've met her a few times when she's dropped things off here for your father, but most of what's going on with her here from Raffi. <laughs> Your father's kind of taken her under his wing. Why? Don't ask me. I've told him she is not his responsibility. Do you think that she could have involved Dad in all this? Oh, you know what he's like. He'd never break the law, however hard he was trying to help her. And how are things between you two? Fine. We've been through worse. Oh, look, this Ben is out of the country at the moment. Do you have an address for Zoe? Yes, of course. I don't understand, Zane. I'll sort it out, Mum. Okay, don't worry. 
Don't worry. Oh. DPS have arrived. You got any news for me? Well, Emma and Roger have got some CCTV from the club last night. What good's that gonna do? Well, there's a chance that Leon's girlfriend legged it because she had drugs on her. Now, if they can prove that, then they can lean on her. Try and get her to tell us what really happened this morning outside the club. Yeah, well, I want on my breath. PC Fletcher, we're ready for you now. You OK? Mm. Well, if she's dealing, she's been pretty subtle about it. Say that. I thought I was a bad dancer. Mm. You alright? <laughs> what? Nothing. He was there. What? Yeah, Diane took his details off him. He said he didn't know him. Where is she? Eh? You said she'd be here in five minutes. She's here. Mr. Davis. Look! It's nothing your quack said. It's knackered. I tore myself down St. Hughes. I've got a scaphoid fracture. Got the x-rays to prove it if you want. Got to keep this on for six weeks. What about me work, eh? Me job. What job would that be? The copper that did this, I'm going to make sure he pays. OK? Want nothing to do with me. We well, just want to know why you told the officer that you didn't know who the couple were. I don't. I've never seen them before. Really? Really? I, I don't. I don't want to get involved. You sure you don't know who the woman was? No. 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 So why is it that we've got CCTV footage of you and her getting very close in the nightclub half an hour earlier? Why did you say you didn't know her? I didn't want to get into no trouble. When I, I saw her fighting with that bloke, I didn't know she had a fella. How did you meet her? Got chatting a few weeks back at the Green Arches. We've been going out a bit lately. A pretty girl. Yeah, well, hands off. I couldn't believe it when she started flirting with me. And normally that kind of thing doesn't happen to me. I thought it was a dare or something at first, but she's not shallow as most birds. And you had no idea she was in another relationship? Oh, I, I should have guessed. Are you going to meet up with her again? Yeah, she's come around at five. Well, she was. I'm not sure she'll turn up after what happened last night. Maybe she's thinking of leaving him. Maybe she's unhappy. She must be, if she's playing around. Thomas, now that we're being honest, why don't you, um, tell us what you saw? You know, the incident outside the club. I really didn't see what happened. I heard shouting, so I went round the corner to see what was going on. Like I said before, he, he was already laying on the ground. Mandy was checking to see if he was OK, saying things like, babe and stuff. It was clear that they were together. So I thought I'd stay out of it. Honest. I didn't see anything. Tell Zoe that we've arrested a man, but ask her if she knows who could be behind the burglary and watch her reactions really closely. I'm going to try my dad again and ask him what he has to say about his connection to her and Ben. OK. And I'll see you later. I need to see my dad again, Sarge. Joe, can you take him to him? Thanks, Joe. What now? Look, I know about Zoe, so you can stop lying. I have a right to remain silent. I don't understand how a young woman can get you to break into a house and trash it. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, I've spoken to Mum, OK? She knows nothing about this. She knows that Zoe's got you wrapped around her little finger. Don't be ridiculous. Won't you just tell me what's going on? Are you allowed to interview like this? Zoe, there's been a break-in at your boyfriend's house. Ben Panton? Ex-boyfriend. A man was found on the premises and has been arrested. What? I thought you'd be pleased to hear that we found a suspect. Well, yeah, I am. Caught red-handed. Place was a mess. He'd completely trashed it. Has your boyfriend got any enemies? People that might have a problem with him? Well, he's a git, so he's probably wound quite a few people up. When was the last time you were at the house? Why are you asking me about this? Shouldn't you be telling Ben? Ben's abroad, so I need as many details from you as possible. Well, I haven't been around there for ages. I dropped Jamie off there about a month ago. Anything else that you want to tell me? No. So I can't help. OK. Thank you. I don't want to let Will down, but with nothing to back up his story, we're stumped. 
Mandy Francis, Leon's girlfriend, is obviously sided with Leon. Yeah, I know. She's a pretty thing. Can't believe she's still going out with that flash git. Well, she's saying that Will threw the first punch. I'm trying to get her on something else, see if she'll change her tune, but other than cheating on her boyfriend, she hasn't put a foot wrong. Cheating? Yeah, it's not a guy called Thomas Fairbank. Or does Leon know? No idea. Well, if it's leverage you're after, you've got it. She'd kill her own grand for Leon. Cheat on him, there's no way. Have you got any evidence of her cheating? CCTV footage. Well, that sounds more important than our paperwork. Leave it with us, yeah? Great. Why did you do it? Mum says that you've lent her money for a deposit on a flat. You've helped to fix her boiler. W what else have you done for this woman? She needed my help. There was no one else to turn to. So I'm right then. You did break into this house for Zoe. She had nothing to do with it. I did it only to get back what was rightly hers. Her ex, Ben, left her with nothing when they split up. All right, but why did you have to trash the place? He threatened to get custody of their son. I was angry. For her. Fine, Dad. Get angry, but break the law. This isn't like you. I don't get it. Why go so far? Zoe's only your office runner. Does she have something over you? What's going on? <laughs> it's no wonder that Mum feels so alienated. I mean, I know since Jess died that we haven't been close, but... Mum doesn't deserve to be treated like Our this. Our relationship has nothing to do with you. I'm your son. And when you're sat in a police cell, it does. If I choose to help a vulnerable young woman who's being pushed around by a low life, it's my business. Hold on a minute. A vulnerable young woman? This is about Jessica, isn't it? This has nothing to do with your sister. Really? Really? Look, Dad, I know you feel guilty about what happened to Jess. Me guilty? You want to talk? What's that supposed to mean? She may have been my daughter, but she was your little sister. I had to go out to work. I had to bring the money into the family. What did you do to protect her, huh? Being a police officer now will not change what happened then. Look, I, I don't want to argue with you about this. I'm just trying to help you out of this mess that you've got yourself into. I'm quite capable of looking after myself. If your dad's willing to take the rap for it, what makes you so sure that Zoe's going to change her tune? Guilt. The gloves are off now. I'm not going to let her stitch up my dad. If your dad was caught in the house. Yes, but it would look a lot better for him if he was influenced by her. We've got some interesting footage of you at the club last night. Well, I weren't up to nothing. Search pace, if you want. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah, I don't know how Leona feels seeing your tongue down another man's throat. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, I'm a terrible gossip when it comes to things like that. Good for you. But I could keep my mouth shut if you were to give us an honest statement about what really happened between Leon and PC Fletcher. Thought I'd be all scared about you telling Leon, didn't you? Well, unlucky. Tell him what you want. What well, he knows, does he? Might. Might not. I couldn't give a monkeys. Anything else? Yeah. You going on, Luddy? None of your business. Anyway, sorry little blackmail plan didn't work out. What's going on? You tell me, you know her. I don't know her. You said when we came round here that you knew her. They're suggesting I abuse my police powers for a personal vendetta. Now with Leon's wrist injury, it's gone from bad to worse. And you went over your notes carefully before your interview? Yes, Mum. Good. Can I go home, Mum? I'm afraid you've got to remain in the building until told otherwise. Sorry. Canteen? If I drink any more coffee, I'll be buzzing for a week. I hear things aren't going too well for you. No, I bet you're gutted. Well, I suppose it's important that the law comes down as hard on its enforcers as it would the rest of us. Well, thanks for your support, Matthew. I've been on the receiving end of your temper, remember? You can't blame me for having an informed opinion. I told you everything earlier. I can't help. Hi, Zoe. I'm DC Nadir. You know my parents, Rafi and Carmen? Yeah. Right now, my dad is sitting in a jail cell at the police station saying that he broke into your ex-boyfriend's house. But Mr. Nadir is facing a custodial sentence. If you know any reason why he did it, it might help. Hello. You put him up to it, didn't you? You wanted revenge on Ben, so you got a middle-aged man who you've somehow managed to get on side to do it for you. I did it. What? I went round yesterday and trashed it. 
Go on. Ben sent me a letter saying that he was going to get custody of Jamie, that he'd tell the courts about my antidepressants and make out I was mad and stuff. I just lost it. Well, why was my dad there at half past five this morning? I told him what I'd done after I was late for work and well, he noticed my hand and Ben would know that it was me that did it. And I didn't take anything, I just smashed the place up. So your dad said he'd go around and take a few things and make it look like it's proper burglary. What an idiot. He's not. He... I wish it was my dad. I don't know how lucky you are. I'm sorry, Zoe, but I'm going to have to arrest you for burglary. Peter! Uh, trouble with the posters? Another bad day? Oh. I won't keep you long. I'd have rung rather than just turn up, but I don't have your mobile number. Oh, right. You free for dinner tonight? Well, after the day I've had, I really don't feel like going out. Oh. Sounds like a bottle of wine and a takeaway, then. I'll come round at seven. Ish. Cheers, so much. You're being bailed. So he's told us everything. What were you thinking? All right, fine. Considering Ben's out of the country, there's not a lot we can do for now. And when he gets back? I don't know. And I've put it to the CPS that you didn't want to permanently deprive Ben of any of his belongings and that Zoe always intended to return them at a later date. Did she? Well, that's what she is saying now, and that'll certainly go in your favour. What about the damage to the property? Zoe's being charged with criminal damage. Well, don't worry, she'll probably just get away with a caution as long as she can pay for it. I'll pay for it. Why? Dad, you can't keep protecting her. She has to face up to her own actions. Don't patronise me. Look, I'm just saying... I know what you're saying. It's all that psychobabble about my guilt over Jess's death. Dad, I have met Zoe. I've talked to her. She is a lot like Jess. Is she? Dad. You can't deny it. Why is it that nice young women such unpleasant men. So he isn't just that. She's not a drug addict. She might be struggling. But she didn't need saving like Jess did. She wanted my help. Jess didn't. That's why you couldn't stop her. That's how he isn't Jess. Jess wouldn't have let you help her. Right, Manny's just got out of prison, and her license states that she's not allowed to leave the country, so why would she? I'm allowed to know who she is. Airline tags on her cases. Sorry, Mum. I was just wondering if Mandy changed her tune yet. She doesn't seem to give a monkey's whether Leon finds out or not. Roger, what do you found out about this, Thomas? According to his witness statement, he's a security guard covering jewellery shops. He checks on them at night and early mornings. He has their codes and keys. Hang on a minute. Are you telling me that Mandy's going out with some geezer that's got keys to a jewellery shop? He said Mandy was coming round to his house at five o'clock. Yeah, well, it makes sense. They're going to do over a jeweller's. Saturday's a good time. They're not going to discover it until Monday morning. Well, it looks like Thomas could be getting more than he bargained for. Right, you two get round to Thomas's. You two find out where he's working tonight. Right. All right, stand back. In here. It's all right, you're okay. Calm down. Ready? I thought I was going to die. I can't believe she'd do this! Who? Mandy! What happened? She said tonight was the night, you know. Could be well up for it. Excited. She turns me up. Then she starts acting all weird. Asking me for the security code for the shop. The key! Which, which shop? Salvetti's! I thought she was joking. It serves me right. I should have known a girl like her wouldn't want me. Did you give them to her? Well, wouldn't you have thought it was a knife to your throat? How long ago did she leave? I feel like ten minutes! I'll call it in. Sierra Oscar from 275. Believed a burglary taking place at Salvetti's Jewellers on Eddington Street. Was she with anyone else? That bloke. The one I saw outside the club last night. Her boyfriend. He was just laughing at me, saying that I'd never get to have sex with a girl like Mandy. And that I was a fat loser who'd always have to pay for it. And he's right. I'm so stupid. Yeah, we're here, thank you. We're beautiful, we're at the front of the jewellers. Hello. 
Impressive oh. even by your standards. Oh. Well, this will be fun. So, how are you going to wheedle your way out of this one? Well, shall we start with false imprisonment? Have you ever been to number 73 Bramwell Road? No. Or oh, do you know a Thomas Fairbank? Never heard of him. As bad, do you ever mention anyone called Thomas to you? Don't think so. What am I supposed to have done? How did you get into Silvetti's without tripping the alarm or breaking the door down? Don't ask me. Manda's in charge. Well, how do you mean? I know it probably don't look like it, but she's the boss. I just do as I'm told. Are you suggesting that man you planned this whole thing? Not bad for a blonde, day. Eh? <laughs> do you expect us to believe that? Now, regardless of whose idea this was, you're still in a lot of trouble. Now, do you want to tell us what really happened between you and PC Fletcher? It'd make your time in here a lot more pleasant. You've got to be joking. If I'm going down, so is he. We've got Leon and Mandy in custody. They tied up a security guard, took his keys and his code off him, and broke into Salvetti's the jewellers. We have nicked them for false imprisonment and burglary. Right. Well, it's pressure, isn't it? Might make them talk. This is just going to make things worse. It's not like they're going to want to help me out. If they're going down, they're going to want to bring me down with them. You don't know that. Mom, by the sounds of it, they're up to their necks in this. It's not even like you've got anything to offer them to make them change their mind, is it? He'll thank you when he's calmed down. Thank you from me. Your father's so stubborn, I swear he'd stick to his word as they hauled him into prison. You know, I knew he'd taken Zoe's problems on board. I didn't think he'd ever go this far. Yeah, he's a real knight in shining armour. I never thought your father and I would grow so distant. Having secrets. I'm used to the family being detached. And... Mum. Well, it's true. I hardly ever see you. I'm busy. <laughs> I know you're busy. All right, I'll try and make it round more. This isn't going to be fixed by obligatory visits. It's us. I'm your mother and I'm more like a distant aunt. I don't know you anymore, Zane. Okay. I've met someone. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Who is she? She's a businesswoman. <laughs> and? Yeah, it's complicated, Mum. You're just like your father. You treat me like a child. No, I don't. All right. Her name's Kristen. Uh, we met through my undercover work. So she's an informant. She's been on the wrong side of the law. Well, I'm not an idiot. I know that. Otherwise, what use is she as an informer? Tell me more. What is it she did? Well, it can't be that bad. Mum, let's just leave it, all right? Two sugars. I've just had a chat with the officers who are interviewing Leon. Now, Leon claims you were the brains behind it, that you planned it all and he just simply went along with it. He what? Well, if that's the case, he could be looking at a slightly lighter sentence. I had to snog that fat, ugly security man with his sweaty hands all over me. I did it for him. I can see why you'd be angry then. Leon loves me. I've said by him through all sorts. He wouldn't do this to me. You're lying. He wouldn't do this. It's on tape. I know you don't want me to pry, but why could not you tell me more about this Kristen? It's not as if she's a murderer or anything like that. It's not drugs. Mum. It is, isn't it? She takes drugs. No, Mum, she doesn't take drugs. Well, she doesn't take drugs, then what? What? A dealer? Why didn't you say no? I love her. I don't believe this. When you joined the police, I was so proud of you. I thought at least one of us is making a stand about what happened to Jeff. No, Mum, it isn't what you think. It, it, it's not heroin. <gasps> Get out! Now! 
What? Get out now! I can't deal with this now! I just want to be on my own! Just leave me alone! You're gonna let Leon get away with this? Make you take the blame? He wouldn't do nothing to get me into trouble. He's probably just trying it on. He's trying it on. He's using you as a scapegoat. It's not going to be taken seriously, though, is it? Well, it might be. You were the one seeing Thomas. You're certainly more involved right from the start. I was doing it for Leon. Oh, so, so it was his idea? No! I ain't saying that. Just, God, you not twist everything. We were in it together. No, I don't get this, Mandy. You're prepared to shoulder half the blame while he's selling you down the river. Just shut up, will ya? Well, he thinks you're gonna let him get away with this. he let you take the blame. He thinks you'll do anything for him. Shut up! He's right, though. He will. I know what you're saying. You reckon I'm a doormat? Well, I ain't. I ain't. Okay. If you say so. If he thinks he can just land this all with me, well, he's wrong. Because the two can play at his game. Leon went for him first. PC Fletcher, or whatever his name is, he didn't do nothing wrong. It's Leon's own fault he fell over. If he thought I'd just sit here and take this, he's got another thing coming. Well, listen up. Roger and Emma have finally got the story from Mandy. It's all on tape. You're in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> right. Drinks are on me then, yeah? Oh. Do right, mate. Well, just a few, obviously. I'm in. You coming, Bob? Not for me. I've got plans. Oh, 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 oh. oh children, leave it out. <laughs> Looks like someone's off the hook then. Yep. Looks like someone was wrong. Again. Can I have a quick word? Yeah. Um, I'll see you at the pub. Yeah. Come on. I'm sorry about earlier. It's just the idea of having a family with you. I got a bit excited. I'll be patient, I promise. Well, looks like you're gonna have to be because it won't be for a couple of years yet. Years? I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, you look like I feel. <sighs> yeah, I've had better days. Yeah? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, so so. What a thing. Your mother is in a state. Should we talk about this somewhere else? No, this won't take long. Look, she didn't give me time to explain. What's to explain? You've let us all down, especially your sister. That is not as simple as Mum thinks it is. This woman, you are a disgrace. I love her. You are disrespecting your sister's memory. What's happened to you? You are family. Jess is dead. I am not. I have a right to be happy. Dad. Don't! Never touch me. I never want to see you again. Do you understand? Never! Hollyhock. Uh, what? Julian's daughter takes drink for border. Last clip. Well, somebody's had more time on their hands than me today. <laughs> what are we going to have? Indian Thai pizza? Well, I'm starving. I want to with lots of cheese. Pizza, then. Now, today can't have been as bad as yesterday. No, but that's not saying much. Cheers. Cheers. I want to tell you something before I get a pizza in the face. That sounds ominous. I should have told you yesterday, but I didn't. I'm married. Now, if you want me to go, I'll understand. I can't finish the whole bottle on my own. Thanks for telling me anyway. And? Well, you saw what I was like earlier. I liked my own space. And it was never going to come to anything, was it? Don't worry about it. Well, not a bad first day back at work, Roger. Well, pretty average for me. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> so how many more rounds have I got to buy to convince you that I'm grateful? Yeah, not even close, mate. Hey! <laughs> I really appreciate your support today. That's fine. Want a drink, mate? Uh, no, don't worry. Oh, come on. Let's apologise for not turning up in court. All right, pint of lager, please. Pint, please, mate. 
She's very loyal, isn't she? My wife. Yeah, she certainly had my back today. But you do know where her loyalties really lie, don't you? You sound like a man who's not so sure. Of course I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be too long before she realises what a control freak her husband is. Ah, the magic word, husband. Just remember we're married. You've had a divorce, aren't you, mate? So everything's going ahead as planned with Jose? Good. Yeah. Hi, Paul. Jose's back then? Mm-hmm. Paul's doing a deal with him tomorrow. It's fine. I've just made a choice, that's all. What choice? Please. I don't want to talk about it, so don't ask me, okay? Okay. I'm here with you. That's all that matters now. Time on the bill. Jose Alvarez is a major player. He has contacts all over the UK. Paul Haskell is just one of them. James! James, wake up! Paul is involved with something really big with Jose. He's trapping now. You have to get out of this. It's getting too dangerous. 